Hey everybody, it's Kirsten. So I've gotten a lot of requests lately on giving you a, a video on how to improve your extension and also an after bar stretching routine. Um, since both of those videos I feel like would kind of be a little short, especially since my routine for stretching after bar is kind of short since there's not much time in between bar and center, um, I just decided to put them in one video just for convenience, you know. So I hope you guys find this helpful and that you enjoy it. Here's the video. Okay, so here's um, my after bar stretching routine. Like I said, it'll be kind of short, but yeah, here it goes. So usually right after grommet moths, I just slide into the splits to, you know, um, stretch out my inner thigh hip area a little bit, and just my legs in general. So I'll do the splits right and left, and I'll usually roll through like this a little bit, and um, you know, because it just gets a little different area of the hip. You know, just let this one go loose and I'll flex my feet and straighten my back knee completely so that it gets an even better stretch. So yeah, I'll do that right and left. And then, um, like I said in my other video, um, I don't really roll over and do the center splits because I've had a lot of hip injuries and it's usually just too much for my hips. I don't know about everyone else, but um, yeah, so I'll just you know, spread my legs like this and then just lean over and that's enough for me. Um, also, usually when my hips are really hurting or they're really tight, I'll circle my leg like this around in the socket and it really gives a good, nice stretch in there and it feels good. And sometimes I'll just do this little thing, it'll stretch out this after bar, right and left. Oh, and at my studio, I don't know about yours, but the bars, um, where they're connected to the wall, I can usually put my foot in there and do the over splits. Um, but I obviously don't have a bar today, so I'll just do it with this little foam roller. It's not very high, I usually do it higher than that, but you know, you get the idea. So, I'll just put my foot on this, and um, do the over splits. And I'll do the same as my other regular splits. I'll just kind of roll over like this to get a different area. And then lean forward and back. Ugh, yeah, my back's not very flexible right now. I just came from class, so I'm like kind of tight. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for my after bar stretching routine. I also do some extension stretches, which I'll have to adjust my computer for because it's not at a good angle. But yeah, so here's my extension stretching. Okay, so I finally found a good angle to film at, so I get all of me in it, because, you know, I'm very tall, so that's kind of hard. Um, so, yeah, I know that you can see me through this mirror right here, which is, frankly, annoying me, and it's kind of weird, but, sorry, it's nailed to the wall, so I can't take it off. Um, so here are some stretches that I start w out with during, maybe, um, before Ronde Jam or Devlope, things like that, just to kind of loosen up. So, I'll start out lower, just um, grabbing my heel so it's turned out square and it's just an easy stretch. And then, um, and also if um, you can't do that all the way yet, another good thing is that you could just do that, let your hip go a little bit and um, hold it like that instead um, without having to, you know, force your leg up too high past your comfort zone or maybe, um, you know. It's just an easy way to grip it. Um, and so here's the other thing I do to get a little higher once I'm warmer. I will wrap my arm around my ankle and grab onto my arch and stretch front and then side. I'll go over, back, up, and I'll kind of put my hip down a little bit as much as I can and then hold it and go as high as you can and sustain it for like at least four counts, four, four slow counts, and then I'll do my planche stretch. And for that, I will grab under my calf and hold on to my shin. And let's see if I can get a good angle for this, probably not. Um, I'll just hold on to something and then stretch over like so and hold it. Hold it arabesque. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not very warm. Um, so that's kind of it for my stretching. Uh, one thing you can do for strengthening is um, 
you can get a partner and hold it starting at 90 degrees have your partner hold it there sorry I'm adjusting my camera um and um, have your partner hold on to it pretty firmly so that you could press against it um, against their hand and so tighten up all your muscles then let it go go a little higher higher and higher and higher until you get at your maximum and then they could press and then let go and you can hold it you could do that front side and back I really think that helps it's good for strengthening and stretching at the same time so if you ever have a partner just grab someone grab some of your friends and try that I really think it helps and let's see another good thing for arabesques is um, you can put your foot on the bar one good thing is it's less comfortable but put it like put your inside leg on the bar instead of the outside it helps get your hips more square and your back up and um, you could stretch square back with your arm up and also one thing I learned from a different teacher when I was taking classes um, at a different studio one time he told us to like twist and go to the side away from our leg and at first I was kinda like that's a little weird that would maybe not help so much but it actually twisted your spine and you know let it loose a little bit and it felt really good and I actually thought my arabesque went higher after that so you might want to try that um I think that's kind of it for oh oh one important thing is that um I would not advise lifting your hip too much to get your extension very high um because um if you let it go too much you lose control and overall placement is just very good for you know classical form if you were doing a modern contemporary dance that's just fine because you want to get your leg up but for ballet I think it's appropriate to get your hip down as much as you can maybe not like I think it's kind of humanly impossible to have it square 90 and like um, then get your leg up but um, do it as much as you can I think it's important when you're younger to start out very very square and then maybe let your hip go once you have that base and your your placement just to get it a little bit higher because it probably won't go much higher than 90 if you just keep it really really square but I think it's good to you know get a base in that perfect technique and maybe get your leg a little higher from there and it really helps with your control and placement um, yeah I think that's kind of it I really hope you guys found this helpful and that I answered all of your questions um, yeah so I hope you like this bye